in Genesis chapter 2. And the heavens and the earth are completed, and all their host. And God completes by the seventh day his work which he has made, and ceases by the seventh day from all his work which he has made. And God blesses the seventh day and sanctifies it, for in it he has ceased from all his work which God had created for making. These are the generations of the heavens and the earth, and their beginning being created, in the day of Yahweh God's making the earth and the heavens. And no shrub of the fields is yet in the earth, and no herb of the field yet sprouts. For Yahweh God has not rained on the earth, and there is not a man to serve the ground. And a mist goes up from the earth, and has watered the whole face of the ground. And Yahweh God forms the man dust from the ground, and breathes into his nostrils breath of life. And the man becomes a living creature. And Yahweh God plants a garden in Eden at the east, and he sets there the man whom he has formed. And Yahweh God causes to sprout from the ground every tree desirable for appearance and good for food, and the tree of life in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river is going from Eden to water the garden, and from there it is parted and has become four chief rivers. The name of the first is Pison. It is that which is surrounding the whole land of Havilah, where the gold is. And the gold of that land is good. The Bedellium and the Shoham stone are there. And the name of the second river is Gihon. It is that which is surrounding the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Hidekel. It is that which is going east of Ashur. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And Yahweh God takes the man and causes him to rest in the Garden of Eden, to serve it and to keep it. And Yahweh God lays a charge on the man, saying, From every tree of the garden, eating you eat. But from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, you do not eat from it. For in the day of your eating from it, dying you die. And Yahweh God says, It is not good for the man to be alone. I make him a helper as his counterpart. And Yahweh God forms from the ground every beast of the field and every bird of the heavens and brings them to the man to see what he calls it. And whatever the man calls a living creature, that is its name. And the man calls names to all the livestock and to the birds of the heavens and to every beast of the field. But for man a helper has not been found as his counterpart. And Yahweh God causes a deep sleep to fall on the man, and he sleeps. And he takes one of his ribs and closes up the flesh in its stead. And Yahweh God builds up the rib which he has taken of the man into a woman and brings her to the man. And the man says, This at last, bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. For this is called woman, for this has been taken from man. Therefore a man leaves his father and his mother and has cleaved to his wife, and they have become one flesh. And both of them are naked, the man and his wife, and they are not ashamed of themselves.